is the failures and the and the tough losses that have happened to us. So it's been the driving force all off season, training camp, every game this season. To we get to this moment, uh, it's our time to to rise up. And holy smokes, <laughs> I mean that's a good team playing really good football, and they kept coming coming back. We didn't play very well on, in the back end, but the game was on the line. We, we counted on our rush and, and our cover guys to go win the game, and, and that's what we did. CJ made an incredible play, <laughs> having zero four plays in a row. It's unheard of, but what a win. AFC North division champs. It's got a ring to it. Yeah, we saw RG3 wearing the championship belt in the locker room already. Yeah. Talk about the anxiety in the second half because it seems like it was a little tight. The Browns came out and scored uh, automatically, and even in that last drive, the refs gave the call to Landry and Paramount too. What Can you just describe the tightness <laughs> that you guys were may be feeling? No, nah, we, we, we kept our composure. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say we prepared ourselves for this moment, that's all we've talked about for 365 days since last year. So we were composed, we were in the moment. Uh, we felt like we left some points on the off the board, you know, with the, the QB sneak and then the you know the, the touchdown later in the game. But hey, that stuff happens. That's happened to us before and we haven't recovered. So uh, we just had to go out there. We said, hey look, we need to make one play to win this game, to be division champs and continue our season. And, you know, the guys clutched up. They, had, they, made, they made some great plays that last series. I and mean, then Baker running around, doing what he does, made some incredible throws. Uh, but when we needed four plays in a row to get the win, we did it. And, and that's huge for us. Can you describe the mood just on the field? Because yeah. you guys were like acting oh crazy. Gosh, but a, now in here, you're being composed. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's hard to explain how much work and, and time and sacrifice goes into what we do, away from our families, away from uh, friends, family, you know, this is my family. During the season, this is my family. My, my real family gets to the back seat, and, okay. and it, it's a lot of time to, to get back in this position. It doesn't happen often you get a chance to go to the playoffs, right? You know, I, I went to the playoffs my first three years in the league, and then, and then I didn't go. And, it, and I haven't gone in six years, but I'm back now. So it's, uh, it's incredible. This group is special, man. It's, uh, you know, it's just beginning for us. You know, th this, isn't, uh, this isn't the end. Uh, we're excited to be division champs, but we got a lot of football left. I know you play on defense, but you got to put into words what Lamar has done leading this team as a rookie when a lot of people Incredible. thought he shouldn't even be playing the position. Yeah. I mean, Lamar is a special, special person. Not just a football player, but just a just a human being. Just a, He's very genuine. He's uh, loyal. He's passionate. He's humble. I mean, a, a lot of those qualities in such a young kid you, you don't ever see. And uh, he's all about ball. He's all about team. He's all about getting better and trying to lead us. And I mean, I tip my hat off to him, man. He's, uh, I look forward to not just being on the same team as him, but being a fan of him and supporting him for the rest of his career because he's going to do some special things. Anything else that you'll celebrate with other than oh, victory yeah. ice cream? Oh, victory ice cream is happening. And as everyone knows, I get a little, you know, a little bonus for making the playoffs. Oh, oh, I'm Bowl, sure I know so. someone is going to be really yeah. happy about that on Twitter. So I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm excited to do something nice for my teammates and mm. the coaches, and you know, without them, this would have never happened. So you yeah. have a, an idea what you're going to get for your team? Yeah, I got some. I got some brewing. Nah, tell I'm tell not going to tell. You guys will find out when I when I make it happen. But all right. So it's, it's a amazing season. It all accumulated to this right here. We're going to keep it rolling. All right, congratulations. Yes, thank you. Appreciate Eric, you've been telling us since week six, this isn't the same old Ravens. This ain't the same Ravens. The greatest of indication. Woo! Man, it, uh, you know, everyone thought I was crazy back in the day, back in back early in the season when I was saying it. And we, man, we had a rough patch, but shoot, uh, the game was on the line and we did it. And uh, the old Ravens may not have clutched up, but it's been a driving force, like I said, for the entire year, and, and we clutched up. In that vein, it's been a rough year. Nothing's come easy for you guys. How confident are you now getting through all that and now headed to the playoffs? We're extremely confident. I think this team is is built for playoff football, and and I think we're mentally tougher than anyone out there because of what we've been through, not just this season, but past seasons. And we feel like we can go in in any situation and, and battle our tails off and have a chance to win. So this, this group is a special group. We play for each other, we play for our coaches, our coaches play for us, coaches coach for us. It's, uh, we win as a team and we lose as a team. And then when you have that bond, anything's possible. 
Eric, yeah. you started saying the not the same Ravens thing early. I mean, I did. it was like week three or yeah. something like that. Yeah. What did you see in the team all the way back then that made you feel that confident? I just felt, uh, you know, the pieces. We have, we have the pieces, the coaches, the drive, right? We've we've worked. I've worked harder than I've ever had this this past season. And, and when I see the majority of guys doing the same thing, then I know it's it's going to happen. It's going to change. And you know, when you have a group that that plays for each other, you know, there, people look at our defense and our team. That there's a lot of other talented teams out there, but you look at our team and we're the best team because that's what we are. We play for each other. We rely on each other. We have each other's back and. You know, it's not always the, the most talented team that wins, it's the best team that wins, and you know, we're out to prove that.